So what's going on guys, it's JM at Speedboxes. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click onto any of my videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So Errol Spence stops Kell Brook in 11 rounds to become the new IBF Worldweight Champion of the World. And this was a very good fight, it was a very competitive fight. It wasn't an all-time classic or anything like that. But it was very competitive. Like the first round started off. Things looked very cagey, both guys trying to establish the jabs in the fight. And then as rounds two and three came along, Kelbrook started to control the fight from distance. That's what Kelbrook tends to do. Find his range, get his timing right. And he was landing some very good counter punches on Errol Spence. And don't get me wrong, Errol Spence was landing his own shots in the rounds because the rounds were very competitive. It was one of them fights where you think one fighter is taking the round and then the other fighter ended the round strong and stuff like that both men did that a couple of times in this fight and yeah it was a very back and forth contest for the first six or seven rounds and then after the seventh round Kelbrook started to get swelling around his eye and Errol Spence started to take over in the fight I think even before the swelling Errol Spence was starting to take control a lot of people are saying it could be the weight for Kelbrook, like because he was so drained at 147 pounds, and he had a very quick start. Kelbrook, he started off very quick, obviously dominating. Errol Spence through a couple of the first rounds, and he was controlling the fight. And it seemed to take a lot out of Kelbrook. And by the seventh round, Errol Spence looked the fresher fighter. He looked like he was the one coming on strong, and Kelbrook just wasn't doing anything really. Well, he was. He was trying to, but he wasn't landing the shots Errol Spence was and Errol Spence looked very effective in the fight and the eye Kelbrook had a lot of swelling around the eye and that was the beginning of the end for Kelbrook because Errol Spence just kept tagging the eye and it was obviously affecting Kelbrook and he just took over and in the 10th round he managed to drop Kelbrook and then Kelbrook ended the round very strong he landed a huge couple of shots on Errol Spence like he showed tremendous heart after getting knocked down Kelbrook his eye was obviously giving him so many problems but he tried to make it a dog fight tried to end that round strong but he came out in the 11th round and he just didn't have anything left Kelbrook he just his heart was broken this fight by Errol Spence with the eye injury and the fact that I think the weight might have been a bit of a problem here he was drained he was tired Errol Spence was just too fresh in the later rounds and that proved to be the demise of Kelbrook tonight and Kelbrook took a knee in the 11th round and he took the knee of his own accord and the referee made the count but Kelbrook just didn't want to be in there anymore and the fight was stopped so a lot of people are saying Kelbrook quit and that he's a quitter and stuff like that I think that's a little bit harsh because it's not the way we wanted the fight to end, but we don't know how bad the injury is to Kelbrook. Apparently he couldn't see, he had double vision. And a lot of people are saying he's having demons from the Gennady Golovkin fight because obviously we all know he broke his orbital bone in his eye in that fight. And that caused him a lot of damage. So with his eye going in this fight, did he not really want to know after that? Was he just too worried about his eye going on him again, like in the Golovkin fight? A lot of questions after this fight about Kelbrook. What does he do now? Does he move up to 154 pounds? Amir Khan was in attendance tonight to watch the fight. Does he finally have the fight with Amir Khan? Both guys really need each other now, in my opinion. Amir Khan hasn't really got a route. And after this fight with Errol Spence, Kelbrook hasn't got really a particular route in the sport of boxing. So I think them two could finally get the fight on. I think it's the biggest fight for them two now. But who knows what Kelbrook's going to do? He's obviously got. A problem with his eye so we don't know how long he's going to be out the ring for now so yeah Errol Spence tonight looked fantastic he looked like he's going to be a real force in the world weight division he looked like a real top fighter he looked very quick he looked like he hits very hard he looks like he has a good engine he can come on strong in the later rounds and I think he gives any world weight any top world weight problems and now he's got a world title belt so he can get them big fights and hopefully the big fighters and the other champions don't duck him because he is a very good fighter and I think he's the future of the 147 pound division he's a very big guy himself so I don't see him staying at work weight for too long so hopefully he gets the big fight straight away against the Keith Furmans and the Danny Garcias and the Manny Pacquiao's 
he said in the post fight interview that he wants them kind of fights so yeah hopefully Errol Spence gets them because he proved tonight that he's on the up and he's the future of the sport but Kel brought condolences to him he tried his heart it must have been heartbreaking for him to lose in his hometown in his home city and yeah very sad stuff to see Kel Brook losing his title but Errol Spence just came on the stronger and he proved to be the better fighter at the end of the night the better man won so yeah very good performance by both guys but Errol Spence is the new IBF world champion comment below in the comment section is JM